Donna Rice and her two sons, Jordan and Blake, were among many drivers left stranded, fighting for survival when the fierce floodwaters swept through Toowoomba on Monday. The family's only hope, the rooftop of their car. I sort of called out for some ropes and a guy gave me some ropes and I, I tied them together and, and um, just headed out towards this car. But the, the water just kept coming up and, and by the time I got near the car it just swept me off my feet. Another stranger joined in the rescue. Jordan, who couldn't swim, wanted them to save his younger brother first. And the mum put the, um, the boy on his back and he, um, he brought him across the rope to me and, and by that time I grabbed the boy and the water just kept coming up. Blake survived, but it was too late to save his mum and brother. The tour guide made it back to the car and, and he looked at me and just shook his head because we just knew there was just too much water and, and um, there was just no time. It sort of... Um, the tension took up on the rope and I had to let it go. Well, he was just pleading with me, just uh, please save my mum, just please, please save my mum. He just was screaming to save his mum. The car hit a culvert and flipped. I just kept telling the boy it was going to be all right and it just wasn't. But I'm just very, very sorry for himself and his family yeah. and that, that we couldn't, couldn't do some more and that um, get about, so... <laughs> Often the stories of bravery are tinged with heartbreak, as in the case of Murphy's Creek couple Sandra and Steve Matthews. With seconds to spare, they hoisted their two children through the ceiling of their home, which was filling rapidly with gushing water. But Stephen and Sandra never made it out. Their bodies were found several kilometres away along the creek. This picture of a family desperate to escape their sinking four-wheel drive led to an influx of calls from the public asking about their welfare. Today... The Premier delivered the news. The mother and uh, child have been located and are safe. The father is unfortunately one of those on the missing person list. This couple were on the missing list for three days. It's a miracle we're here, you know, I mean, absolute miracle. They were feared dead after the wall of water hit Grantham, hit their ute as they fled their home. So I had a bit of sense of electric windows on it and we pressed both buttons either side and lucky the windows wound down. And by that time, we was up to here in water. Somehow, they got out of their vehicle and clung to a tree for three hours. A helicopter found the elderly couple and winched them to safety. There were spiders crawling up and I was brushing them off and our biggest fear was snakes. Yeah. Grantham remains closed, a ghost town, no life except for police, going from home to home, finding bodies. Ken wasn't even sure if his home was still standing, so we took him to the air to find out. It's still there, it's still there. Relief yet anguish for the town and the people that he's called home for 20 years. Oh, that's unbelievable. It could take several days to find those missing and the coroner has moved into the Lockyer Valley along with counselling teams. We still have a number of families who don't know where their children are, who don't know where their loved ones are. Davina Smith, Nine News.